Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to this general energy reading for you. This is a general reading. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is also a timeless reading. It is being channeled and recorded during the month of September. So some of that, uh, the elements of September, um, in terms of astrology may creep into this reading for you, but understand that this reading could resonate for you at any time whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that is the message for you in that moment. Yeah. Speaking of astrology, we do talk about the astrology here on Divine Conversations, but keep in mind, guys, that when I talk about astrology, I talk about it from the true sidereal system. Now, please also understand that you do not have to resonate with or be familiar with true sidereal astrology to resonate with this reading, okay? This is just a general energy reading for the sign for the energy of Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, but also any other Scorpio placement that you may have, yeah? With that said, um, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already and you feel so inclined. I am available for personal readings, whether that whether you would that would be if you would like to explore true sidereal astrology with me, or if you're just looking for a general energy reading, uh, love or just general, yeah. I, all of the readings that I offer can be found in the description box below. Let's see, did I miss anything? Oh, if you would like a copy of your true sidereal chart, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I would be very, very happy to get that to you free of charge, okay? Especially if you're curious about it, you've never seen it before, and you'd like a copy of your chart. Please reach out. I am very happy to, pro to provide that energy to anyone who seeks it free of charge. And then on top of that, I am available for sessions to discuss and interpret your chart, yeah? All right, Scorpio, let's get into this. Uh, let's see, what messages do we have for Scorpio? What messages do you wanna to bring to Scorpio at this time? You can probably hear the roosters in the background. <laughs> there are a ton of them around me. So I do have my windows closed and everything and I've got a fan going to try and like block out the, the noise. But if you can still hear it, it is what it is. Sorry guys. <laughs> All right, here we go. Wow. So this is looking like a love reading for you. You have three cards here. The first card you have is great big love, okay? The next card you have is into me I see, and then also you have the uncharted sea. All right, so the, uh, what I'm hearing is there is a, lo a love offer inbound for you. Um, oh, also keep in mind, guys, that you could be watching for a Scorpio, as in a cross watcher. This could still resonate for you if you <laughs> are cross watching for a Scorpio. Just place it into your life as it fits, okay? All right, Scorpio, there's, there's great big love inbound for you. But what I'm picking up on for this energy here with gr uh, the uncharted sea, this might be something that you're not used to. This might be something completely out of your out of the norm for you. Um, but re spirit is really encouraging you to accept this love um, to be to be what spirit? To just to be accepting of this love. I keep hearing there is love inbound for you, okay? Now with Into Me I See, um, I really do feel like this is absolutely a true love in situation because this person that has these feelings for you can definitely see deeper elements of you that they really truly appreciate. Um, now this could be something, uh, someone that is outside of the norm for you. So what I wanna say about that Scorpio is that this could be a, a, really, a romantic connection with somebody the type of person, a type of person that you would not necessarily go for, okay? Or it could be the other way around, okay? Both of you could be not the normal type of individual that one would go for, but ultimately I do see that this love is really, really beautiful, okay? All right, so let's get into some more of the cards here for you. Um, the other feeling that I'm getting for you here, Scorpio, is that also, if this isn't necessarily like a romantic connection for you, this is also the love of spirit for you here, okay? And this is actually guiding you to go within and start to understand yourself more on a much deeper level. Now, the next cards you have here are synchronicity, playfulness, awareness, and breathe. All right. You're really being encouraged uh, to breathe into this energy. Something about this may really make you nervous. 
um, or um, again, uncharted waters, okay? So this is a situation that is not typical for you, that is not normal, that is not standard for you. And with that standard energy here, this could be something that's like societally, societally not necessarily a standard thing or not necessarily that is so acceptable. But the thing about this, Scorpio, is that Whatever this is for you here, the message really is to work on being fully aware of who you truly are, looking deeper into yourself and potentially uh, ch potentially exploring the waters of yourself, the uncharted sea of yourself that um, you have not necessarily explored before. Okay, now Scorpio, you're a very deep deep sign you're a very deep energy you are all about death and transformation okay in the tarot you are uh, you are represented as the death card also the king of cups the king of cups is a very deep emotionally aware emotionally profound being individual also you are ruler of the eighth house in astrology okay <coughs> <clears throat> excuse me you're a ruler of the eighth house in astrology so there's really something there there is an element here scorpio about uncovering deeper elements of yourself this could translate into great big love someone really truly loves you loves you deeply for who you truly are and may see deeper elements into you or deeper elements of you that you may not see for yourself okay excuse me but the thing about this is, Scorpio, even if even if these are elements to you that may be are not necessarily so desirable by the general public or by the normal by the norm or normal standards, this person, if this is a person for you, this person really, truly loves you like they see these deeper or darker elements of you and don't necessarily think that it's a bad thing, don't necessarily see it as a red flag. I feel like. If this is a person for you, Scorpio, they really truly accept you for who you are and may even be trying to influence you to accept yourself for who you truly are and not let these darker elements of you to really hold you back. This may be this may be an individual that actually has quite a deep affinity for Scorpio energy, intrinsically understands who Scorpio is, what Scorpio stands for, and sees the dark and the light elements of you and of this type of energy and really kind of loves it. Now, if this is not a person, then this is spirit coming through here with this great big love, influencing you to really come to terms with yourself, to, to uh, explore these deeper waters for yourself, to see deeper into yourself and really work on understanding who you are as a person, as an individual, really help you find that or cultivate that awareness of who you truly deep, who you truly are. But this is not for, I mean, this is not really for the effects right now of like, you know, bettering yourself, self mastery, um, becoming a better person, whatnot, whatever. I mean, obviously that is always something to strive for. And that is something that we really come into these lives to to work, to, to, to build or to develop, to expand as a human being, to expand as just a non-physical, as a spiritual being and become a greater version of yourself. But really the feeling that I'm getting from this Scorpio is to explore these parts of yourself, breathe into these parts of yourself so that you can find a deeper awareness of who you truly are, but then to love yourself for that. This is really just about loving you. OK, and then if and so then ultimately later on, that would translate into um, being able to align with someone that really loves you for who you are. But the, the, the easiest way for you to align with another person that loves you for who you are, then you are going to have to work on loving yourself for who you are, accepting all of the intrinsic parts of yourself that may, that are positive and also negative. Everyone has positive and negative, good and bad traits, however you want to describe it. And nothing about it is really wrong. So if you're really looking for love, Scorpio, the guidance here is to work on sailing these uncharted waters, discovering more of yourself so that you can be more aware of it and be more accepting of it so that you can cultivate that sense of self-love for yourself to then be able to radiate that into the world. And when you radiate that into the world, when you're an energetic match for that, then that's going to bring someone in that will truly love you as deeply as you love yourself, right? 
Now, I definitely understand that well, what I feel right now is that for some of you here, if this is translating into an actual person that is already aware of who you are and loves you intrinsically for who you are, they have a deep love for you anyway, even though you may not necessarily be in that, in quite that energy, I am feeling that here for you, okay? Now, continuing here, you have playfulness. You are being encouraged to be playful here with yourself and with this other person see this as an adventure this exploration the uncharted sea see this as an adventure allow yourself to be playful with this situation finally also you have synchronicity so you've been seeing synchronicities and if this is involving a specific person here scorpio what i want to say is you have been seeing in synchronicities that have been reminding you of this person that have been Influencing you to understand just how fond you are of this person. Pay attention to these synchronicities, Scorpio. Okay? If there are synchronicities that are coming up, like, like as I'm speaking through this, some of you are starting to recognize, wait a second, that's right. I have been, you know, been very aware of this person's energy around me. Or every time I think of, every time I see this specific thing, or I hear this specific song or whatnot, whatever, I think of this person. And every time I think of this person, I really think about how awesome that they are, how, how I really love having them in my life, how good friends we are. And I'm really, I'm really feeling like you're being encouraged to pay very close attention to these synchronicities, okay? If this is triggering a memory of someone for you, then that's the person that Spirit is trying to speak to you about here, okay? All right. Let's get into some tarot elements here for you, Scorpio. I'm going to shuffle this a few more times. So show us what's going on with this situation here, Scorpio. Or for Scorpio, please, Spirit. What's going on with this situation? What messages do you have for your Scorpios at this time? Let me give this two more shuffles. One. I do want to say a lot of the time when the roosters are really um, popping off, um, a lot of people have said that that often tells them is really like that's often like a message there. There's a, that that in and of itself is a synchronicity. And with and they do, they were kind of going off here when I started. But right before they stopped, they it's like they were going really, really hard, really, really loud, trying to make it so that you really heard that they were crowing. It's time that and I feel I'm saying I'm feeling like that's kind of like a, a wake up call. Because often roosters are like associated with, you know, crowing early in the morning as like that natural alarm clock, even though like total disclaimer, roosters crow at all hours of the day, even when it's like the middle of the frickin night, like it'll be one, two, three in the morning and something will set them off and now the whole community is going off. Okay. The roosters don't only crow at very in the morning, but I'm, I'm really feeling like that right there, Scorpio was a bit of a wake up call or was, was a, was a call for you to really pay attention, pay attention to the synchronicity Scorpio. Okay. Especially if it is reminding you of a specific person, pay attention to those 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 um those synchronicities because what i'm hearing is that person really truly loves you okay let's get into the tarot here what messages what's going on for scorpio please okay we have the four of cups is your first card the six of swords wanted to come out it show itself but it didn't actually came out it didn't actually come out here okay next you have the queen of cups okay you're ignoring your feelings about this one Oh, okay. You have the Four of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Eight of Swords reversed, the Lovers in reverse, but then you have the High Priestess. Overall energy is the moon. There is some fear surrounding this situation. There's also illusion surrounding this situation, Scorpio. I am kind of feeling like you're not actually being truly honest with your feelings about this one. Um, about this person, about this situation, but I really feel like this is a specific person. Also, what I'm getting with this moon energy here is are these uncharted waters. I feel like you're really being influenced by your higher self, by the universe, to shed some light into these darker elements of about yourself 
just for clarity's sake, it's really not even about healing or anything so much so i mean obviously you could probably heal from a lot of what you are what you uncover or what you become aware of but really spirit just wants you to just bring awareness to yourself or to these elements of yourself see yourself clearly is what i'm hearing here now you have the four of cups the queen of cups okay but then also you have the eight of swords reversed the lovers in reverse and then also you have the high priestess all right. Um, strong Pisces energy here between the high priestess and the moon. We could also be speaking of a Cancerian energy with the queen of cups and the moon. Traditionally, the moon in the tarot represents uh, Piscean energy, but in astrology, the moon rules cancer. Um, and then we also have potentially a Gemini here with the lovers, but we definitely could be I, I definitely feel like this is dominantly a love situation for you. And you have some very deep feelings that are really worth exploring here with this Queen of Cups energy, but you're not, you're reluctant. I'm not going to say you don't want to, um, but I am, I do feel like you are reluctant to accept this cup of love that could very well be coming towards you by another person, specifically this person that we could have been talking about already. And I feel like that could be because of the Three of Cups element here. Some sort of societal standards, maybe. The Three of Cups can represent um, third-party influences, some sort of community energy. Uh, the Three of Cups could also represent a celebration. But in this situation, I feel like you're not necessarily allowing yourself to accept this cup of love. True, real love, I feel like, that could be coming to you either from this specific person or just in, in general. Um, because of, I want to say, what people would think. Like you're so focused on, on other people's opinions or what people would think of you that you're not allowing yourself to accept this cup of love that could be coming forward toward you, towards you or you're not even aware of it. You're not able, even able to perceive of it because you're so focused down here. You're so focused on what you have in front of you that you're not focused on what's trying to be come, trying to come to you. OK, and that's also reflected here in the eight of swords reversed with the lovers reversed. It feels like you are kind of feeling like you don't have a choice. You're trapped. Your mind is all wrapped up. Your mind is all trapped in this type of energy here. And the, 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 blah, 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 blah. <laughs> the dominant thing I want to say about this, Scorpio, is that it feels like you don't feel like you have a choice which could also be why you're not even aware that this offer is trying to come to you. OK. And then you have the high priestess here, which would represent your intuition, which would represent the universe, spiritual, re spiritual reality. I feel like the high priestess here also represents the synchronicities that you could be experiencing surrounding this person or surrounding this loving relationship. Now, with that said, if this is not necessarily a love relationship between a specific person just yet, this would also represent you being reluctant, Four of Cups, to look deeper into yourself. And then the, the story is still the same. Okay, Eight of Swords reversed and the Lovers reversed. You don't really feel like you have a choice. But the thing about this, Scorpio, is that what I'm hearing is your mind is so wrapped up in this conditioning here that you're not even seeing that you might have a choice. You're not even aware of the fact that you do have a choice. You can choose in terms of what it is you want to accept about yourself. And saying that doesn't necessarily feel right somehow. Wait, okay, because I don't think I said that properly. You're being very selective about what it is you accept for yourself or and or about yourself. So this could translate into a love reading or a love um, connection later on down the road. But for right now, for some of you, there are things about yourself that you are not willing, I'm hearing, or allowing yourself to accept because of some sort of social conditioning here. Three of Cups. You are ultimately, whether this does involve a specific person who has a very, very deep love for you or not, 
the main message for everybody here that could be resonating with this reading is to love yourself enough to sail these uncharted waters, to see deeper into yourself, and to love yourself with this great big love enough to accept those parts of yourself that are deemed unacceptable by others, by society, by the people around you. The hidden elements, the hidden elements. Okay, I just picked up the deck here and the Page of Swords was, uh, was, under, was, was um, showing itself here. The Page of Swords is all about learning, discovering, uncovering new uh, energies. Okay, let's get into some clarity here. The first thing I wanna clarify for you, Scorpio, is this Four of Cups energy. Clarify the Four of Cups for Scorpio, please. Page of Wands is reversed. The Page of Wands is a transformation, can represent a transformation of self. And it's because of this deck, actually, not, well, yes, the Golden Universal Tarot, but also just the Universal Tarot, because it's still the same depictions, it's just not golden. But this card here helped me see that the Page of Wands could absolutely represent a midlife crisis, or what we call in humanity as a midlife crisis. And why is that? Because this person, even though he is a page, he is still depicted as a grown ass man. <laughs> okay, I'm this, okay, the pages are typically um, adolescent or much immature energies. And I don't mean that in a negative way. Um, they're just new, they're adolescent em energy. So they're less mature than what we would say like a king or a queen, right? Okay, they haven't just, they just haven't reached that level of development yet. And yet with this card, this is depicted as an adult this looks like a grown person, a grown man, okay? And this individual in this card is discovering something new about themselves or is in, uh, investigating their power. That wand represents their personal spiritual and creative power. So this could represent a transformation of self in terms of discovering something new or learning something new about yourself, seeking or discovering new or deeper elements of yourself. And that's exactly what we're talking about here. But you're reluctant to do that. Why is Scorpio reluctant to discover these new elements about themselves? <clears throat> we have the seven of wands because of, the de because of defenses, because of a defense mechanism. <clears throat> You are standing your ground here in a way that is protecting you, protecting you from the ire of other people, okay? With that though, you have the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, if you really allow yourself to accept this great big love that is being offered to you here, whether this is just by spirit and the universe, the divine God source creator, or whether this is by an actual person who, who deeply, deeply loves you. If you were to accept this moment of discovering something new or transforming yourself or changing the way it is that you show up in the world, changing the way that you dis, uh, um, 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 express yourself because the page of wands and just the wands suit can be all about expression, you could really change your dynamic, okay? Great big love is really trying to come to you at this time, Scorpio. This could really end up being a family situation. You could end up really truly marrying this person. This person, if this, does, if this is resonating for those of you that have somebody in your life who is most likely a friend of yours right now, this person may already be like, yeah, I'd marry him or her. I mean, I know they've got this, that, and the other thing going on, but damn, I, you know what? I'd marry that person. Why? Because I love them. I love who they are. They are beautiful to me. I would take the good and the bad with that person just because I feel so deeply for them. But Scorpio, you are reluctant to change the way that you approach this situation or change the way that you express yourself in life. And that is all because you've been hurt before. You've probably gone through situations in your life that have caused you to put up these defense mechanisms because you've been treated, mistreated, or you've been treated poorly. You've been judged. Or there's a, you, you just understand that there's a great deal of judgment that would come to you from the people around you 
or just general society. And thus, you keep up this defense mechanism. And thus, even though spirit is trying to influence you to change the way you feel about this or change your perspective here, we could say, you're like, nope, not doing that. Nope, not doing that. Nope, not doing that. And spirit's like, why? This person loves you or we love you. We love you exactly who you are. We made you who you are for a reason. And we love that about you. Why can't you express this about yourself? Nope, not gonna do that. But if you really allow yourself to, trans to, to, to accept this energy, Scorpio, look at what you've got. Look at what could transform for you. Look, the tables could really turn for you and you could end up being way happier than you ever dreamed of. Way happier than you were before when you were uh, holding this level of boundary. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck, Scorpio, is the Ace of Cups. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. Either this is that cup of love that someone is trying to offer to you, or this is the cup of love of from the divine saying, you deserve to be loved exactly as you are. And oh, by the way, there's someone out there that's gonna love you too, just the same way we do. But you know what? Start with yourself. Mm. Let's look at the Queen of Cups then. What does the Queen of Cups have to say for Scorpio? The Eight of Cups. You need to leave these energies behind. Whatever it is, I feel like what the Eight of Cups is representing for you that you would need to be leaving behind, it's that defense mechanism that's, that is um, represented by this Seven of Wands here. And I just heard standing up for yourself. Stand up for yourself because this, you're needing to walk away from this. You're needing to leave this energy behind, Scorpio, because it does not serve you. And truly what you would be walking away from or walking towards, excuse me, would be that two of cups energy that would lead you straight to that 10. Mm. Clarify the queen of cups. Anything else you want to say? Four of wands. Oops. <laughs> Four of wands. I mean, anything else for the queen of cups? Oh, the ace of cups again. So I really do feel like Scorpio, this Queen of Cups, yes, does represent, does represent, um, <clears throat> it does represent someone who has very, very deep feelings for you. Very deep feelings for you. May actually be at the, maybe the feminine here, maybe very empathic, maybe even psychic, you could say. But I, I think this person keeps their feelings hidden from you. Not because... Not necessarily because they want to, it kind of feels like because they have to. Now, if this is not a person, this Queen of Cups energy is representing you going deep into your own emotions. Going deep into your own emotions, understanding who it is you are deeper on a more intrinsic level, walking away from that which no longer serves you and quite frankly never served you. And having the strength and foundation, building, a, uh, building greater strength and foundation within yourself by accepting a, a cup of a, a true unconditional love from the universe here, okay? But also this four of wands could represent that marriage energy. Walking away from things that don't serve you, walking straight to someone who has a very deep affinity, very deep love for you from which you guys could build a really beautiful life together. I'm talking you really could end up marrying this person. Overall energy is the Queen of Swords. But what I feel like for the Queen of Swords here, the Queen of Swords is, that, is the element that holds you down, that keeps you away from this true love. It's like you need to let go of this Queen of Swords energy. This may even be an energy that you're adopting within yourself to say, no, I'm not going there. No, I'm not exploring that. No, there is no, re there's no way that I could do that because there is no objectivity with the Queen of Swords, okay? There's no, she's not like the King of Swords in terms of being like, okay, well, let me, let me weigh the options here. Let me see all sides. Nope, nope, that's not the Queen of Swords. This might actually be a mother figure in your life. 
that has helped you adopt this energy of I'm not doing that, I'm not going there, that's just purely not acceptable, I'm not even gonna explore it. And what I'm feeling here is you need to let go of this energy and instead adopt the energy of the Queen of Cups who is compassionate and unconditionally loving and understands herself and her emotions, okay? Let's clarify the Eight of Swords reversed for you, Scorpio. Clarify the Eight of Swords. What's this Eight of Swords reversed? Why is Scorpio trapped here? Yep. Okay. Yeah, clarifying the Eight of Swords, Scorpio, you have the Five of Wands and the Seven of Cups. And the one thing I want to say here is what would other people say? Uh, 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 other people's opinions. Other people's opinions. Opinions are like assholes, Scorpio. Everybody's got one. But that doesn't mean that you need to allow someone else's opinions to affect your life, your decisions for your life here. You have, you have an opportunity as an, at an offer here, the Ace of Pentacles. Even if this offer, is, this could definitely be an offer of commitment from another person, okay? This person that really truly loves you. Or it could just be an opportunity for a new start in, physically in your life. Okay, lovers in reverse. Clarify the lovers in reverse for Scorpio. Anything you want to say about that spirit? Clarifying the lovers in reverse is the two of cups. Scorpio, divine love. Now, this could be the relationship between yourself, the masculine and feminine energies within yourself, okay. But straight up and down, Scorpio, I'm not even gonna try and, and work this around to maybe it being someone else. Somebody, somebody is in love with you. And you are actively rejecting a partnership that is like almost like a match made in heaven. Not even almost like a match made in heaven. I'm gonna call it that. This is literally a match made in heaven. And also, the lovers here represents a choice. Now, I want to say, you, before I say that, the lovers and the two of cups. The lovers is the major arcana version. The two of cups is the minor arcana version. This is absolutely about true love between you and another person. Or ultimately, a situation that could turn into true love between you and another person. Should you really allow yourself to sail these uncharted waters and go in this path or go in this way that is not normal for you? at least not normal for who, for the person you have been up until now. Doesn't mean that it's not actually normal for who you really are, but then that means you're gonna have to sail those waters and discover who you truly are, okay? But then also what I was saying is the lovers is about a choice, ultimately, even though yes, it can represent love, divine union, divine partnership, whatever you wanna say about it, ultimately the lovers truly means a choice, a choice of vice or virtue. Are you going to choose vice, that which harms you, that which is detrimental to you, or are you going to choose your own personal virtue, that which is of your highest good? And allowing yourself to be loved by someone truly, truly, unconditionally, inside and out loved by someone will always serve your highest good, regardless as to what anybody else has to say about it. Mm-hmm. Overall energy, clarifying this lover's energy with the Two of Cups is the Chariot. This is absolutely, Scorpio, about who you truly are. Your true soul's direction. Your true soul path. The Chariot. This is coming from your higher self. This is something you are truly meant to be, something or someone you're truly meant to be, something you are truly meant to have. But it seems here that you're allowing other people's opinions of yourself or of the situation in general to stop you from going down a path that is truly your calling. Let's clarify the, the, um, the High Priestess. Clarify the High Priestess. What does the High Priestess have to say for Scorpio? Page of Swords, listen, be open to what your intuition is saying to you about this. Be open to how you're being guided here. 
okay? Instead of cutting it off with the Queen of Swords energy, be willing to listen, to seek, to explore. Anything else for the High Priestess? Okay, Knight of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Lots of court cards. But I feel like, okay, I feel like what this is saying here for you, Scorpio, the High Priestess is peaking your energy or is peaking, is trying to get your attention. Okay? And if you really move forward with what the High Priestess is leading you towards, you will find someone that really could be wifey material. I'm talking, you really could end up marrying this person. But you have to allow yourself to seek it, to find out. This is a pretty long reading here. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck. Oh, 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 oh. But then there's the two of swords. There's the denial right there. Nope, we're not even gonna pay attention to that. Cut that out, Scorpio. Listen to your higher self. Listen to your intuition. Pay attention to the synchronicities. I also feel like the Knight of Wands here with the Queen of Pentacles, this is saying to you that if you really allow the High Priestess to grab your attention and you listen truly to what your intuition or the, the universe is saying to you, where it's leading you, you will find that you have someone that is really and truly, truly enthusiastic about having a commitment with you, settling down with you, being your wifey, being your girlfriend, maybe even being your husband, depending on the circumstances for you. I don't know. Someone is truly, is truly en enthusiastic about pursuing a commitment with you, okay? But you have to allow yourself to, in your, you have to allow your intuition to guide you there. So let go of this denial, okay? Let's close this out for you, Scorpio. I'm going to get closing message from the Lover's Oracle. Closing message for Scorpio, please. Okay. First card you have is trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Next you have, it is important right now to stay, take a step back and spend some alone time. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. I feel like this is truly about you no longer pulling away from those who are requiring you to be something that you're not, pulling away from that energy and really focusing on the truth within you, sailing these uncharted waters, okay? Discovering these new elements of yourself. And then finally, you have reflection. Give each other some, time, some space at the moment, trust and have faith that all will work out for the best, but you are needing reflection. Into me, I see. Reflection. Yes? Okay, Scorpio, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you so very much for tuning in. I really truly hope this was helpful for you. Please don't hesitate to leave me a comment in the comment section down below, letting me know how this resonates for you. Smash that like button for me, and please also subscribe if you feel so inclined. I feel like something's crawling on me. If you feel so inclined and haven't done so already, um, and if you would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below uh, where I list my email address and the readings that I offer. Shoot me an email, let me know you're interested, and I will be more than happy to get you all hooked up. But with that said, Scorpio, I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye. <laughs>